Hello everyone and welcome to another news coolum video and another charging site review. Well, the uh, charge point chargers in Buttonwillow have finally gone online. Uh, this is a really nice site. It's right off of I-5. It's one that I think people have been waiting for for a while. Uh, this is one of the ones that was funded by the California Energy Commission grant funds. Uh, and so they have three 50 kilowatt tritium chargers installed here uh, and they all look to be up and running at this point uh, it does look like they were going to install or did install a level 2 ac charger uh, but it maybe it's been pulled out or it needs to be replaced at this point i'm not sure exactly what um is going on with that. I mean, personally, I would just prefer another DC fast charger, uh, but having the level two charger here actually adds a little bit of flexibility as well. Uh, this is a really nice site. It's a really good travel site. And uh, well, let's just jump right into uh, the site review. So in terms of accessibility, you know, I'm giving this a nine out of 10. Really the only knock against this site is that it doesn't have full pull through parking and i really just don't know how you could manage it here without blocking a, a significant number of chargers so that's unfortunate uh, but otherwise it's just off the freeway it's a really quick off-ramp on-ramp this is at a travel stop so it's not like people in gas cars are just going to be milling about it's an actually you know it's really cool really easy easy to get in and out of like I said, other other than the missing full pull through parking, this would be a perfect score for accessibility. So it's getting a nine out of 10. For amenities, I'm also going to give it a nine out of 10. You have a lot of stuff just within a close walking distance. There's gas stations, there's service stations, there's sit down restaurants, there's a coffee shop. I just ran and used the bathroom and grabbed a coffee after two hours of driving. Everything that you pretty much want is here. The only things that are missing right now, again, is a canopy. Now, I know a lot of people have been pushing back about whether there needs to be a canopy or not. I think there always needs to be a canopy. You could make an argument whether it makes sense for it to be solar or not, but I think it just makes sense. But even if you're not going to do a solar canopy, there needs to be some sort of shading, at least to protect these chargers, especially these tritium chargers. I've seen them degrade really, really fast uh, when they're exposed opposed to full sun. This is the uh, central San Joaquin Valley right here. It, it gets hot and it gets sunny. So uh, the other thing too, and I don't want to put a knock on this site because it looks like it's still in construction, but it is missing a level two charger. So uh, those would be kind of the only knocks in terms of amenities, but otherwise nine out of 10, really good site. Now in terms of site concentration, this is where the score starts going down a little bit. There are only three chargers here. You know, that's just dead average. That's a five out of 10, especially for these travel sites, these ones that are going in along I-5. I realize these were budgeted several years ago, uh, but I feel like we need to make the money and time to put in an additional at least three chargers, right? These travel stops should have six chargers at them. Uh, so, you know, three is just a little bit inadequate in my opinion for a travel site. And this, even if it had a level two charger here, I wouldn't have bumped up the score from a five out of 10. So this site gets a five out of 10 for concentration. Now for location, this is an easy 10 out of 10. We need chargers in this location along I-5. Uh, it's at a junction with Highway 58, which is another you know, important connecting route, but even if it weren't, right, it's on I-5. This is an important stop. Uh, and this station going live means we now have 10 DC fast chargers broken between three different sites between here and the base of the grapevine. These are going to be essential for electric vehicles to be able to head up and over the Tehachapi's. And even for some shorter range electric vehicles, if they're coming out of Los Angeles, you just crossed over a 4,000 foot mountain range. This will be a good spot to sort of top up and it helps you bridge that gap between here and Kalinga, or like I said, the Shell Station and and uh, Firebow or wherever, right? It helps you connect those routes a little bit better. Uh, we still need more chargers along this route uh, and the more the merrier, but 
regardless this site super important uh, it's a it's a great travel site 10 out of 10 for location then for speed well speed it's only going to get a 5 out of 10 these are 50 kilowatt chargers and you know i'm a little bit disappointed in charge point i mean again i realize these were planned for and budgeted years ago but they have their new charge point express chargers they seem like a much better choice especially for a travel site these types of stops, you want a minimum, in my opinion, of 150 kilowatt charging. Even a vehicle like the Bolt EV, right, it, it would benefit uh, by a 10 minute faster charging time if these were 150 kilowatt chargers. And the types of uh, things that you're going to do at a stop like this, grab coffee, uh, grab a quick bite to eat, uh, you're not gonna be wanting to spend 45 to 50 minutes, uh, maybe an hour, as these 50 kilowatt chargers would normally require. And then again, with more faster charging vehicles coming on the online, uh, these travel stops need to be, in my opinion, at least 150 kilowatt. And right now, you know, they're just 50. So that's dead average. It's five out of 10 for speed. That brings us to a total site score here of 38 out of 50. So it's a solid C and it's really, it's bolstered by just how important this site is. Uh, there's a Tesla supercharger just nearby, uh, literally in the same facility, right? So it kind of attests to how important this site is for travel. And you know, for Tesla owners too, if you have a Chatamo, uh, this is gonna help, uh, it's gonna help alleviate pressure on this button Willis supercharger if there are you know backlogs or things like that on heavy travel days so those with a chatamo adapter will be able to hook up here as well so uh you know it's a really great site just some minor small improvements and i mean definitely an increase in speed and increase the number of chargers but otherwise you know great job charge point uh, i'm liking these sites they're really helpful so uh let me know, have you had a chance to use this one? Uh, have you stopped by here? Or have you been waiting for this to want, one to go online? Because uh, charge point and button willow, it's up. Thank you for watching.